Hello, welcome back to the application. I want to just sum up what we did last time. We actually went into my uh, application Storm Diet, a calorie counter application, and we created uh, we have created the Storm Diet uh, database, and we have created a table food and filled it with a lot of different foods. We have actually 92 lines of food with a food name, food uh, manufacturer the size and uh, the calorie contents of this food. So what I want to do now is create another uh, table called categories because each of these foods will be inside a category. So I will just go to my code, here it is. And I want to go to db setup, no, to db adapter. And up here I want to have another line for creating the table and it will be the create table if not exist categories and I have category ID with an integer and a primary key and it will auto increase, increase increment for each line I have a category name I have the category parent ID and I have a category icon and a category note so when I create a table I also need to Drop the table if it doesn't exist. Categories. So by running this code and upgrading the database version to 11, it should actually create uh, the new tables for me. Okay, I will open Chrome and inspect the table now, the database. Strom diet, and here it is, the category categories table. So I will now fill in the table with some uh, items. I will just go to DP setup insert, and here we created uh, last time a setup insert to food, and also another method called insert all food into database so I would just want to do the same for uh, the categories so I have a created a method uh, a comment here setup insert to categories and to insert to category table and uh, I have actually created the method already so it's public void setup insert to categories ring values so it will first open a db adapter db new db adapter context then we db open so it will open the uh, connection to the database then it will insert into the table of categories with the fields category id category name category parent id and it will insert values and then it will close the connection to the database so next I will have to build a method for public void insert all categories. And here I will use the method I created up here. So setup insert to categories. And now I need my values. And I have actually created everything ready here. I will just copy this and uh, I 
I almost forgot, I have category parent ID and we have also category icon and category note so by running this code now I will actually fill in the table of the categories and only have to upgrade the database version to 12 and then click run So it says hello world, we'll open Chrome and inspect the database and it did nothing, so that is very, yeah, of course it did nothing because we didn't actually ask it to use the methods. So I need to go to my main activity and under here I have run setup, so I will now have to set up insert here set up insert insert all categories now I can try to run it again to see if anything happens and it should not because I also need to upgrade the database version now so I will upgrade it to 13 Don't know if they have to run it again. So I will go to inspect to check the database now. Uh, Strum diet categories and here we have it. So I have category named bread, bread and rolls and crisp bread. And you can see that all of them have category parent ID number one. So if there is category parent ID zero, that means it's uh, the master category and the subcategories have another category parent ID here. So I have now 43 categories in the application and all of them are filled in. So now I want to create a few more tables but we don't need to fill anything in. We have filled everything we need and so after creating a few more tables we can actually start to program the design.